In this video, we will go through two examples of how we convert Fisher projections into Hayworth projections. And I want to begin by noting that in Chem 1124, which is elementary organic chem, we don't do stereochemistry in our Hayworth and Fisher projections. Okay, that's not something that we worry about in elementary organic chemistry. But in organic 2, which is Chem 2122, you will worry about stereochemistry, but not in elementary organic. So here would be an example problem. I give you this Fisher and I ask you to convert it to a Hayworth. And I want it to be in the alpha configuration. So, first thing you need to do is you need to make sure that the most oxidized carbon is at the top. So, for instance, if I had given this to you upside down just to see what you do, right, you need to make sure that the most oxidized carbon is at the top, not at the bottom. And then we just number one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, this is something I recommend doing until you can visualize what this looks like rotated. A lot of students need to make this physical on their paper. But once you've done this several times, you can do this in your mind. You don't need to redraw it. But I recommend before you're good at it that you take this and just literally rotate it. So redraw it. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now anything that's on the left is now on the top. All right, so H, O, H, O, H, H. Now what happens here? This carbon and this O, H, that's where my reaction's occurring. So that's what's going to cyclize this into a ring. So there's my basic ring. Right, there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now I just draw all my sticks in. And then the last thing you need to do is you need to populate your little sticks. How do I do that? Well, this is why I recommended drawing it 90 degrees rotated, because now this stick directly translates. Right. So carbons two, three, and four come straight from what your sticks up here look like. Up, OH up, OH up, OH up. Carbon 5 is only going to have a hydrogen left on it because that O is now right there. And then how do I know what goes on carbon number 1? Well, the problem told me I wanted it in the alpha configuration, which is, means that the OH is down. So that's my alpha Hayworth projection. Now let's look at what it would look like if it were a smaller sugar. Right, so that was a six-membered ring example. Here would be a five-membered ring. So this is a shorter sugar. This time I want it in beta, just for fun. Okay, again, make sure your most oxidized carbon is at the top. Now rotate it 90 degrees, unless you can visualize it. If you can visualize what this looks like rotated, then obviously you don't need to go through this step. One, two, three, four, five. Now the reactions between this carbon and this OH. Right? So that's what gives me my basic generic product. One, two, three, four, five. And then how do I figure out what's on two and three? I just look at this, 2 and 3. OH up, H up. How do I know um, what's on carbon number 1? Where is it oriented? Well, the problem told me that it was beta, so that means that OH is up. And then carbon number 4, all it's going to have on it is the H. I hope these two examples help you with converting between Fisher and Hayworth projections.